dear students let us learn to find sum of n terms of an ap in the previous video you have learned to find the nth term and you solved the problems related to it now let us learn to find the sum of n terms of an ap take an simple example for ap 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. How many terms are there here? You can count the number of terms. It is finite AP. There are 10 terms. Now we, we have to find the sum of the terms. I'll put addition sign in between the terms. This is represented as yes. S yes means sum of the AP. Now, I will write this AP in the reverse order. That is, I will start from 21. I will start from 21 and I will move towards the first term. So, S yes is equal to 21 plus 19 plus 17 up to 3. So these two are same APs written in different way. Now we got two equations. Now let us find the sum. Here on the left hand side S plus S is equal to 2S equal to C. Find the sum of the numbers 21 plus 3 is 24. 5 plus 9 is 24, 17 plus 7 is 24, 9 plus 15 is 24, 11 plus 20, sorry, 11 plus 13 is 24 and it goes on until 21 plus 3 is 24. So, 24 comes how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 24 comes 10 times because there are 10 terms in the AP we have taken. So 2s is equal to 24, 24, 24. 10 times means that is is equal to 24 into 10. Repeated addition can be expressed as multiplication. So 24, 10 times means 24 into 10. So s is equal to 24 into 10 by 2. So sum of the terms of the given AP that is 3, 5, 7 up to 21 is 24 into 10 by 2. Let us remember the steps we followed here and let us find the general formula to find the sum of n terms of an AP. Do you remember the general form of an AP? First term is A, then A plus T, then A plus 2D and you know the nth term is A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D is the nth term. So in this AP there are N terms. Let us denote this by Sn. Sn means sum of n terms. Now, as we did previous, reverse this AP. That is Sn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D plus. Previous term of A plus N minus 1 into D is A plus N minus 2 into D. Then previous term of that is A plus N minus 3 into D and it goes on. And here the first term that is A. This is the same AP we have written in two different ways. Now let us find the sum. Here SN plus SN is 2SN is equal to. Find the sum of these terms. A plus A is 2A plus N minus 1 into D plus 
here also see a plus a to a here minus 2d and plus d that is minus 1d so here also 2a plus n minus 1 into d and here also 2a plus n minus 1 into d and the nth term also 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here 2a plus n minus 1 into d comes how many times n times because there are n terms in the ap we have taken so 2sn is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d that is 2a plus n minus 1 into d comes n number of times so n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so take 2 to the right hand side sn is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d divided by 2 this 2 from lhs so this can be written in other way like this sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d this is the formula to find sum of n terms of an ap sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d where n is the number of terms a is the first term d is the common difference remember this formula to solve the problems related to sum of n terms Now, we know the formula for, to find sum of n terms of an AP that is Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, I will split this 2a. 2a means a plus a. So, this can be written as Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. a plus n minus 1 into d that is equal to a n a plus n minus 1 into d is the nth term of an ap so sn is equal to n by 2 a plus a n a n means a plus n minus 1 into d if there are n number of n number of terms then a n is denoted as the last term so n sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l if there are n number of terms then a n will be the last term so these are three formulas we have to remember the same formula written in three different ways Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d can be written as Sn is equal to n by 2 a plus a n. This formula is used when you know the nth term. And Sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l. This formula is used when you know the last term. And the first formula that is Sn is equal to n by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d is used when you know the first term and the common difference. These three formulas are same and written in three different ways. Now, let us find the sum of first n positive integers. First n positive integers. First positive integer is 1, 2, 3 and it goes on till n. We don't know how many terms we have, how many positive integers we have. Let us take n as the last term. Now we know the formula. 
एस एन इज एक्वल टू एन बै टू इंटू टू ए प्लस एन मैनस वन इंटू डी ना वी डोट नो द नंबर आफ टर्म दट इस एन वी डोट नो वी नो द फर्स्ट टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म इज ए एंड कामन डिफरेंस इज टू मैनस वन दट इस वन सो एस एन इज एक्वल टू एन बै टू टू इंटू वन प्लस एन मैनस वन इंटू वन दट इस एस एन इज एक्वल टू एन बै टू टू इंटू वन इज टू एन मैनस वन इंटू वन दट इस वन एंड मैनस वन इयर टू मैनस वन इज वन सो एस एन इज एक्वल टू एन बै टू वन प्लस एन सो एस एन इज एक्वल टू एन इंटू एन प्लस वन बै टू इज द फॉर्मुला टू फाइंड सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स This formula is used only when the AP starts with one and common difference also one. In that case, we have to use this formula. This formula is used only to find the sum of first n positive integers. S n is equal to n into n plus one by two.